Hi, welcome to Sea Bugs Records, the new arrivals for the week of March 19th. Please like and subscribe if you already had. Thank you very much. And we are going to start today with a reenactment. So a lady came in with about 30, 35 records, and I was looking through them. And, you know, sometimes you look through them and you can tell they're not very good. So I'm looking through them while I'm doing it. She tells me that, you know, even if I take them for free, she just doesn't want to have them back. So, you know, there were some stuff. There was like this kind of stuff. Chicago, Joe Perry League, Boss Skaggs, Doobie Brothers. Now, I didn't want to take anything for free. Now, I have three or four copies of all these. But I was thinking, maybe I can give her 10 bucks um, just to have something. But then I kept looking through and I found Sticky Fingers. Beautiful copy with a zipper. So, you know, this one's valuable. Then I saw Animals in Beautiful Condition, Pink Floyd. And then Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, in absolutely gorgeous condition. Um, I, I actually gave her 25 bucks, which I kind of feel bad for. I think I should have given her a little more. Uh, most of the other stuff, there's a couple of this things I'll show you in a minute, but most of the other stuff wasn't great, but those three alone are really valuable, especially those Pink Floyd. Um, so let me go over those quickly. We'll, we'll start with the sticky fingers. In this condition, I think I can ask 40. Uh, this is a record that goes way up and down, fluctuates all the time. Right now, it's kind of on the downside. It's not getting what it used to get, but... This is the best I've ever seen this record, so I'm pretty confident I can put 40 on this. Dark Side, on the other hand, is way up. I just sold one for $48 in nowhere near as good condition as this. So I think I'm going to start it at 65 which might be a little high, but it's also the kind of record I like to have here. Um, and I also bought a, a DVD of Wizard of Oz. I got a TV up here now. So, you know, if you haven't heard of this, you can play this at the same time as watching Wizard of Oz and it's eerie how it goes together. So I'm going to put 65. We'll see what happens. Now, this is the interesting one because Pink Floyd Animals, beautiful condition. Um, you know, not normally Dark Side would be more valuable, but this is promotional. So I've talked about promo copies before. Usually it doesn't make much difference unless it's a significant record. And this is a very significant record. Uh, so this was, this is the first pressing. It was given to radio stations before it was made for sale so they could you know, play a little. And um, this one actually, this doesn't really add value, but I think it's cool. This has a WHCN sticker on it. Now, WHCN used to be the classic rock station in Hartford, and it was replaced with the bridge. I think it's called the bridge, 105.9. Um, but so I just, I love the idea of somebody handed this to a DJ in 1977 um, to listen to for the first time. So I'm not sure what to do with the price. It's kind of all over the place on eBay. I think I'm going to put 80 on it, which is lower than anything on eBay in anywhere near this condition. So I think that's a good starting place. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see, a couple, couple others that came in that lot. Uh, Clapton, Backlist, probably have eight on that. Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic, about 12. ELP in Concert, probably about eight in that. So that was the... Um, that was the lot. Those are the times I'm very happy to have a record store. You, you don't, you can't find things like that at flea markets or anything like that, um, obviously for that price. So I was, I was so happy. If I ever see the lady again and she brings it up, I'm probably going to give her a few more bucks or what, if she wants anything for the shop, whatever, because very nice lady. And she was very happy with the 25 bucks. So it all worked out. Okay. A couple other things prints around the world in a day this one i had a home for a while kind of forgot about it 
So uh, this is the record that came out after Purple Rain. Kind of a disappointment considering how amazing Purple Rain was. Um, and I'm not a big fan of Raspberry Beret. That's just such a pop song after Purple Rain. Um, but not a bad album. I've listened to this and, and it's kind of, to me, gotten a little better with time. So probably have, or I already have $18 on it. Uh, Beach Boys, California Girls. Uh, the record's nice, but the, the cover's a little, has some wear. Probably have about $8 maybe. Uh, Springsteen, Born to Run. These are all things that um, I had at home with a prince. Um, about 10 on this. This is an interesting one. Um, this one came in with a different lot. This is Introducing the Doobie Brothers, 1970. Uh, so this is not what we think of as the Doobie Brothers. So very different, worth a bit more. So probably about 18 on this one. Uh, let's see, we got uh, The Stones, Hot Rocks. This is a um, two record greatest hits. I do have to look through this. I forgot offhand, but there, there's some rare um, misprint somewhere. Not on, probably not on this one, but I gotta remember what it was and make sure it's not that. Um, but probably about 20 bucks on this. Uh, the Time, Ice Castles. I love the Ice Castle. Ice Castle, no S. Uh, I actually really like this album. This is the album with um, uh, da, 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 Jungle Love and The Bird. Both were in Purple Rain. But really good album. Kind of got, you know, people kind of look past this one because they, they just think of Prince with anything Purple Rain. But this is a great album. Uh, oh, 15. Steely Dan Asia. Steely Dan. I used to have so much Steely Dan. It's almost all gone now. Except I have like three or four copies of Pretzel Logic. So I need another Asia. I have this at home, brought it in. And finally, as promised, Pet Sounds, Beach Boys. This is a great album. The, the sleeve has some wear and I don't know if you can see, it has some tape right here. And I think there's a little bit right here, but it's not too bad. And the album is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I just played this. I couldn't believe how great this sounds. I would call this, I would call the vinyl near mint, and I almost never call vinyl near mint, but it sounds absolutely beautiful. Weird album. I haven't really figured out why this is such a valuable album, because it's not their first. This is 1966, and their first came out in 62. The best explanation I've heard is People didn't realize at the time that this was not another Beach Boys album like the rest, like all the, you know, beach music, surfing music, things like that. There's a lot of depth to this. And I don't think people realize that until much later. So this now sells for over $100. I think with the cover I have, I'll probably have, I'll probably kind of start around 95 but I've been wanting this for a while and I'm so happy to have it. Um, let's see, the other piece of news is we are having a sale this weekend. 15% off absolutely everything in the store. So, hope to see you in here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.